TPO split pipe. TPO split pipe boots are prefabricated round projection flashings made from specially designed 60mm reinforced TPO flashing membrane that eliminates the need for T-joint patches. Split pipe boots are available in diameters from 1 inch to 6 inches and can be used to wrap around projections that cannot be flashed with a pre-molded pipe boot. Each split pipe boot is supplied with a stainless steel banding clamp. Confirm the outside diameter of the pipe to be flashed. Most pipe sizes refer to inside diameter. Mulehide TPO split pipe boot sizes are based on maximum outside diameter it will fit. For example, a 3 inch PVC pipe has an outside diameter of 3.5 inches. Consequently, a 4 inch split pipe boot would be required. Each split pipe boot can fit a pipe that is 1 inch smaller than the stated size. For instance, a 4 inch split pipe boot can fit pipes with outside diameters of 3 inches to 4 inches. Mulehide requires a minimum 8 inch flashing height on the pipe. Wrap the split pipe boot around the pipe until the vertical seam is tight to the outside face of the pipe. If the pipe is taller than the split pipe boot, make a mark on the outside of the pipe at the top of the flashing. Remove the split pipe boot from the pipe. Install a bead of water cut off mastic at the top of the pipe or below the line on the pipe. Wrap the split pipe boot back around the pipe until the vertical seam is tight to the outside of the pipe. Tack weld the back of the vertical seam to keep it in place. Be sure the vertical seam remains tight to the outside face of the pipe. Starting from the bottom and working up, weld the entire width of the vertical seam. Be sure to use adequate pressure to ensure a proper weld. Weld the entire base flange. When welding the horizontal overlap, start from the base of the pipe and work out. Allow it to cool, then probe all seams for voids. Fix all voids as needed. Cut any pipe flashing above the pipe, flush to the top. Install the stainless steel banding clamp at the top of the pipe or flashing. Cut any excess metal to prevent damage to the membrane. Apply a bead of universal single ply sealant over the banding clamp. Base attachment is required at all split pipe boots on mechanically attached systems. The base flange is not wide enough to allow installation of the plates and fasteners next to the pipe. Place four 2.4 inch seam plates and number 14 HDP or number 15 EHD fasteners beyond the base flange of the split pipe boot. Patch the fasteners with reinforced membrane, hot air welded in place. Allow to cool, then probe all seams for voids. Fix all voids as needed. Apply cut edge sealant to all edges of cut reinforced membrane. Things to remember. Most pipe sizes refer to inside diameter. Mulehide split pipe boot sizes are based on maximum outside diameter it will fit. Each split pipe boot can fit a pipe that is one inch smaller than the stated size. T-joints are not required if the base flange intersects a field seam. Water cut off mastic, banding clamp, and universal single ply sealant is required to terminate each split pipe boot. Base attachment is required at all pipe boots in a mechanically fastened system.